diary. It's the middle of October 2020. I'm 30 years old, almost 30 and a half actually, but I guess you're supposed to stop counting the halves when you're about six. We're in the midst of a global pandemic. Wait, hang on. Maybe that's tautological. Maybe a pandemic is global by definition. Maybe that's just like saying pin number. Anyway, at present, options for entertainment and leisure are fairly limited due to a series of government imposed restrictions. And the situation can only be described as less than ideal. I think today I'll film some bits and upload it to YouTube in the hopes that it'll make me feel just a little bit more connected to humanity, a little bit more in touch with people, like I'm actually a part of something rather than separate to it. Hopefully it'll make me feel maybe a little less lonely and a little more engaged. Also I've seen a sick leg extension for the home gym and it's not cheap so I'm gonna have to get a million subscribers and make a bit of cash ASAP. Yo people, welcome to a day in the life of... Am I a YouTuber? Am I a YouTuber yet? Day in the life of me. Just day in the life of a random lad. Anyway, we're gonna chill out today. It's gonna be like vloggy vlog stuff. But before we do, I'm gonna start by introducing you to the sponsor of today's video, which is a zebra. Not really. It's Blue Man. They make hair stuff, loads of stuff, but this is the stuff that I use most. I also kind of use this stuff sometimes. You gonna focus or just... Why are you doing like that? Yes, yeah, yes, lock on. Anyway, I'm sure you recognize them from every other fitness YouTube video. But yeah, they sent me some stuff like just over a year ago now because I was supposed to be doing a video back then and just never got around to it. And uh, yeah, this is the stuff that I use just on, actually not that stuff, it was that stuff. I started using that and then I realized that this stuff, the uh, Cavalier clay, right, suits my hair better. So that's the stuff I use on days when I just feel like giving an extra shit about my appearance, right? you know, if I'm like interacting with other humans at all on that rare occasion, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you because if I didn't, it'd be a shit advert. Basically, I'm just gonna grab some of that and put it on my head because that's what you do, that's what I do anyway. I think that's, I think that's the official method. <laughs> all right, uh, last thing to mention, there is also a volume, Ascend volume cream, it's supposed to like put it in your hair and blow dry and stuff, it makes it look thicker and I don't know, I don't really know, but I've got quite thick hair anyway and I, I'm just too lazy, so I don't do it, but other people do, that's why I'm still a 5 out of 10. You ready for the world's fastest get ready with me? Right, grab it, finger it, rub it on your hand. And just work from the back, from the back to the front, mate. So my hair's kind of wavy, so I, I want to keep a bit of a wave, and I try and fluff a bit of the sides up a little bit, just to keep that squareness, man, because you need a bit of a box head, don't you? Because actually squareness is like, screams test, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just said. <laughs> Alright, and this is definitely like not, <laughs> not in the handbook, but whatever's left over on my fingers, like look at my brows, man. Look at that brow, fucking wacky it gets, mate. Let's go across my brows. <laughs> you definitely not supposed to do that, but I mean, maybe you are. It still works, keeps me brows tame all day, mate, and then it's like, Otherwise, they start kicking off, mate, making YouTube channel of their own and everything, and start leaving the EU and shit. So I actually spend most of most days at this very desk you see behind me, which is, uh, well, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest, now that I come to mention it. I mean, you spend years of your life trying to be a YouTuber and then you wake up one day and you realise that you've just given yourself an office job again, which is, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with office jobs, but if I wanted one, I would have just got one. Anyway, despite the fact that I spend most of my day at this desk. We're not going to spend most of the video at this desk because that'd be shit. 
So as you might expect, a big chunk of that desk time is either planning or editing YouTube videos and then the rest of it is basically just emails or email related shit but I don't just want to say emails and just leave it like that because it's like super vague and I feel like it's almost, almost cringy in the sense that it's like you sound like you're trying to sound important, do you know what I mean? It's like the office equivalent of saying yeah, I've got a busy day full of meetings. I go to meetings all day. Ooh, that was a productive meeting. You know what I mean? Most of them are just online coaching clients, asking questions and stuff like that. And then a few of them are just admin stuff related to maybe like brand deals that I might do and bits and bobs like that. But anyway, I got one through yesterday. I thought I'd share it because it's uh, interesting slash funny. Hi Joe, loving your fitness posts. We're interested in collaborating with you on an educational product we have. In particular, we're interested in having you create a mini course on the fitness niche to help influencers grow. Does that even make sense? Specifically, we want you to talk about the whole thing. That's not that specific. From content creation to follower growth to brand collabs. We're looking for around three hours of edited content. You don't have to post these videos. In fact, we'll be featuring your Instagram in the course so people can follow you. You also get access to our Influencer Accelerator course for free. We can't wait for that. I can't wait to accelerate. Accelerate your business. As for budget, we're thinking of something along the lines of $500. What do you think? Let me know and we can jump on a quick call. The first thing you learn, right, you start a YouTube channel and you get a few subscribers. All of a sudden, everyone trying to jump on quick calls with you, man. you know what I mean? Every email is like, let me know when you're free so we can jump on a call. I'm like, why does every email come with you like, just implicit like assumption that I automatically just want to jump on calls with strangers and discuss their proposals, man. Anyway, I'm gonna read you this again, but like how I translated it in my head, like the subtext, like as I was reading it, so I'll just strip away the bullshit and this is what you get, right? Hi Joe, we don't have an educational product, but we want you to create one and then we'll get a few people maybe to like contribute to something we'll repackage it we'll put like a cool name on it like influencer accelerator course we'll, like slap a mark up on it and then try and shift it for maybe like two grand three grand something like that right when they say we'll be featuring your instagram in the course so people can follow you what they actually mean is we've got no business talking about this shit and otherwise we'd be making it ourselves and not getting someone else to do it so we just want to put your name on it so that people think, you know, they can like see that you've got like a few YouTube subscribers and they, they might like think that you know what you're talking about and it just lends some kind of credence to the uh, actual course, right? A lot of like online courses and shit are just old ass repackaged shit off YouTube. And if it's not like stuff that's already on YouTube, it's stuff that you can probably access on YouTube for free. So like just beware of this anything that sounds like just saturated in jargon mate like influencer accelerator course grow your brand in seven easy steps achieve financial freedom like you know the buzzwords don't you man now let's say i actually went for this i thought it was a good idea i was like yeah sick let's do it i created a mini course on the fitness niche to help influencers grow right the end product it might be good you know i'm sure there's some like stuff that i've got in my head that could help people right and same goes for whoever else they're asking to do this right but the point is it's probably already on YouTube somewhere, right? On YouTube slash the rest of the internet for free. Because somebody somewhere wants the views, yeah? Enough, and not that there's anything wrong with that, it's fine, like, to put out information for free, right? That, that's what it comes down to, right? Because people get paid other ways, don't they? People get paid by ad revenue, people get paid by doing like endorsements and stuff like I just did, right? And so, People put out information for free. The vast majority, I would say, I would say 99.99% of shit that you'll ever need to learn, you could learn for free. I just thought I'd share that because I thought it was interesting. Booster! No, oh, it's a, oh, it's a bouncy, one. fluffy, fluffy motherfucker in, mate. Nuts. Don't get me stains on. Come on. So I thought I'd just do like a quick house interior update, if that's a thing, just for anyone who gives a shit and is interested really, because I don't think I've shown much of the house since the initial empty house tour video, which was like a couple of months ago now. And obviously then, 
everything was empty, mate, because that is the very nature of an empty house tour. So maybe you will have seen bits of the home office if you watch the home office transformation and like a few close-up shots in the kitchen if you're keeping up with the meal prep videos. But aside from that, I haven't shown much. Anyway, this is the living room. We've uh, still got quite a lot to do, especially upstairs mainly, but this is like fairly complete now. So let me know what you think, mate. Rate my living room out of 10. I spend a lot of time horizontal on this couch watching Korean films on that TV. But yeah, what do you think? I think it's super cool, to be honest. Some bits are like maybe a little bit girly, but I still like them. I feel like that light looks a bit like a hat that someone would wear to the Grand National. But, you know, some bits are girly just mainly because my girlfriend's a girl. <laughs> we also got this like study kind of room, just some books and a weird chair that I don't know where it came from and also a piano that I'm going to learn one day. This is a funny angle, I'm rolling with it. Um, I just watched Boris, some more, it's just different levels, who knows? Does anyone know what's going on right now? Who knows, man, not me. Anyway, I just wanted to do a shout out to my bros in Merseyside, because gyms will be closing again there, so I am gutted for you. Thoughts and prayers go out to everyone in Liverpool and surrounding, because that's not nice, man. Right, so, I don't know what that light's doing. I think maybe you can just see half my face because I'm next to a window, but that's fine. It's, the other half ain't up to much, so. Right, I think when you make a YouTube video, like a day in the life type YouTube video, you're probably supposed to choose a day where you've got a lot of stuff to do, right? Because then you can keep everyone like, entertained with all the stuff you're doing. And you know, maybe you can like look busy with all your important meetings. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just being cynical. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say that important meetings don't exist or busy people don't exist, they obviously do. Uh, I'm just not one of them, at least not currently, because although I am doing like way more than my 40 hours a week and I'm still keeping up with all my work and I think being fairly consistent on YouTube, I'm definitely taking more time to myself these days to chill the fuck out and do whatever I want, even if what I want at that moment is like absolutely nothing, because sometimes I think the best thing you can do is nothing right and i'm doing that because I, th I think for me personally there's never going to be a better time for me to chill it and live at a slow pace like and just relax for a bit man because i've just moved into a new house it's now like livable and comfortable there ain't much going on socially because the rona's still flying around and travel is like super restricted so i can't exactly be in like santorini or like italy right now i mean i have actually just been to italy but that's besides the point right what i'm saying is my overarching goal in life yeah <laughs> is to get to the end of it whilst having felt like the minimum amount of stress possible like humanly possible right <laughs> at least the bad kind of stress anyway because i'm sure you could make a case saying that there's definitely a good kind of stress that you probably should feel but i'm digressing again right anyway my uh, modus operandi for you know avoiding stress it entails basically a lot of push pull right it's putting your foot on the gas and taking it off again right it's knowing when to do each yeah? it's the ebb and the flow striking life's great balance right isn't it and uh, you know a lot of people actually think I might be digressing again here, but a lot of people think that stress is only related to being too busy, right? And that's probably the most common form that it appears in, right? But ironically, like the only time I've ever actually, I think, felt stress in my life, I'm not sure if that's really what it was, but uh, was like years back, probably before I started YouTube, even 
and it wasn't from like too much action it was like from too much inaction i was like stressed by doing fuck all if that makes sense anyway that's besides the point the point is right now i am uh, enjoying slow paced life for a little bit and i'm sure at some point right you will see me busy, right? You'll see me with a lot of shit on my plate and maybe I'll have like bigger bags under my eyes, right? And maybe I'll start to look like 32 when I'm only 31 or some shit like that, right? Maybe, you know, I don't know. But right now, uh, that ain't it. Right now I wake up in the morning without an alarm. I just chill it in bed with my bird for a bit. I, you know, got hit the treadmill, eat three nice square meals a day. Don't track me calories do a bit of work, do a few errands, lift some weights, make some YouTube videos. It's a good fucking life and I appreciate it. And uh, I don't even know what I'm saying really, but I'm gonna go train anyway. <laughs> Jordan Lenny is my hero! 